So black holes are not eternal prisons. They have a lifetime. One day, uh, whatever's in there is returned to the universe. The question was, the central question that was immediately raised by those calculations is this. What happened to all the stuff that fell in? The way I've described it, the way Einstein's theory describes it, is somehow that stuff goes to the singularity, whatever that thing is. The end of time, a region of space-time that's so convoluted and distorted that we don't understand how to describe it at all. Or is it not true? You might say, why did I ask that question? Seems like a bit of a random question. It's a very important question. Let's say that I take anything in, in here, in this room, a book, a table, uh, <laughs> the camera, right? anything at all, and I set fire to it, I incinerate it, I destroy it in any way that I can. I could throw it into a furnace, I could, I could put it in the heart of a nuclear bomb and explode it, right? whatever, just completely incinerate it. In physics, in basic fundamental physics, then it turns out that if you could collect every piece of that thing that I detonated or incinerated, every quantum of radiation, every photon, every particle, everything. In principle, if I could just collect it all, and I was clever enough, then I could reconstruct the thing that I had destroyed. Information is conserved in the universe as far as we know.